Hey guys, I wasn't sure whether to even bother to video this because it's nothing very exciting but uh, I need a nut and I couldn't find one and uh, whilst I could find a close size nut and uh, maybe drill it out and re-tap it, that's an old trick just to make something that'll work, I thought I'd just make this out of solid uh, we got a piece of um, three-quarter hex I just faced off the end there and it needs a quarter 20 BSF thread to match a male piece in fact the sample I want to match this uh, thread here and I can't find a nut for the other item that has this thread in fact, in fact, this little piece was one I used for the uh, keyway experiment, cutting a keyway in the lathe. making one nut at the moment uh, this area I'm going to nominally come back about a half inch but before I do anything else I'm going to get rid of the hex and uh, make it easier for parting off plus it'll give me some chamfer at that point this is only a round nose tool I'm not too concerned with details other than just getting a little bit of chamfer Actually traversing slightly here, I'm not worried about finer points, I'm just gonna get this little bit of extra depth here. Right, I don't think we can see much of the cut there. Anyway, I've widened it out a bit so other you could probably hear this was chattering a bit. I can only go in so deep. And then uh, I just use the same tool on this right hand end. Probably chatter a bit. This is a quick and quick and ready fix. As I said, I didn't really think of bothering to video it, but I might as well. Forget. I need more than that. All right. Well, we've got a adequate, fairly even chamfer. Quite adequate at the moment. So we just want to make a hole through this and. Uh, Then we can tap it. It's not actually a rusty drill, it's a funny colour, but anyway, we'll uh, bore that out. We'll go in about an inch. about 0.8 
I'll uh, give me enough space. I'll just take another little bit, give plenty of room for the tap. Hold this just for a nut. This actually is, um, I don't know what the alloy is, this particular steel hex is very, very hard compared to some, so it's a little bit more work. Feeding a little bit heavy, I'll just get that in a few turns. I'm using my uh, famous spindle handle, it gives me much more control. Now it's really beginning to bite. The chuck's just about to lose its grip. All right, let's uh, put in a number three tap. I got this uh, larger tap wrench, my medium one, I've been missing, and I got this as any a, any a cheap import, but it's adequate. As usual, my hand gets in the way. <coughs> This is certainly very, very, very hard material. It's, it's only a mild steel, but it's one of those that's got a bit of bite to it. I've got a sharpie mark on this uh, on this tap here, so I know where I'm going. up to my sharpie. <clears throat> so I made a pretty generous depth in there. Might be able to see the sharpie mark on there. Always going further than I need to. Right, well I'm using my new four-way tool post here. I've actually got my insert parting tool. I'm going to try that. Set up a bit of an oil drip. I'm still turning by hand, but uh, with this hard material, it actually suits it suits better. You won't see very much because I've got the wrong angle. But if I set the camera the other way and I'm turning the handle, you won't see anything at all. rather slow doing it by hand but although this is quite a good cutting insert in the parting tool with this material being so hard I don't mind a bit of physical effort <laughs> it may be very unconventional but I'm not worried about that I prefer to have a center when I'm uh, parting should be getting fairly close. Uh, I've got too far to go. There we are, break free. Oops, I'm in the way again. It's so easy to forget where the camera is. Bear in mind, <clears throat> this is an expediency exercise. I just popped a nut in the uh, chuck quickly here. How 
unexciting. A nut. It isn't quite identical both sides actually because I've done it in a hurry. Purely functional. Just do it to test on this other piece of thread which has actually got some burrs on it but uh, There we are. So not very exciting at all, it's just an, what would I call an expedient job, just a quick fix. And it happens the uh, three quarter suits my, my three quarter, it's three quarters AF, cross flats, that's what it is, so that, that fits my wrench. So we're good, we're done. Probably teaching grandmother to suck eggs for most people. Everybody could make a nut. <laughs> it's, but, it's just a little sequence there of possible interest. Plus the fact that I do a lot of things, shall we say, a little unconventionally. If something needs a fix, I'll try and fix it and get to the end somehow. Thanks for watching. <laughs>